the Biohacker 4.0. This is a wall panel, 204 LEDs from a company based in Europe, Czech Republic of all places. This is their fourth generation red light therapy panel and it's packing a lot of features. I'm gonna reveal all of these features. I'm gonna do some testing. I'm gonna do my full review and help you make a decision to determine if this is worth purchasing or not. Before I do that, I should mention I'm affiliated with this company. If you use discount code Alex, you will actually save some money. I get a little bit of a commission as well. Okay, so what do you need to know? Well, first up, there's actually a neat app. So I can hit the stop button here on my phone and it turns off. Which is pretty cool, more on that later. The Biohacker, which is the name of this particular panel, is not the largest panel in this series. They actually go up to a uh, Mito Hacker 4.0, which has twice as many LEDs. I actually have that. I'll be doing a review or maybe out already. Check the notes below. But this particular panel is the panel that will be included in the 2024 comparison series. Now, not only does it have that application, it's also got a nice new touchscreen control panel, which works really well. It's emitting six different wavelengths, which is quite impressive. It's using dual chip LEDs. It has wireless connectivity if you wanna get multiple panels and it supports VESA mounting systems. Now the panel is 36 inches tall and just under 10 inches across. Okay, so now I'm gonna get out my spectrometer. We're gonna learn a little bit more about these wavelengths and also the power figures. Okay, so over at the Mito Light website, when we scroll down, we will see that the panel emits or allegedly emits 636, 60, 670 in the red, 810, 830, and 850 in the infrared, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So it's a big improvement on the Gen 3 panel. Now, when you scroll down a little bit, you can also see this wavelength spectrum. So this is showing your six peaks, uh, your red, your 660, 670, and then the three near infrared. So what I'm gonna do now is fire up the spectrometer and see what I get. Okay, so what I'm doing here is actually moving around different areas of the panel. And you can see that depending on the area I'm in, the readings are quite different. Okay, yeah, so it was hard to get one reading that showed everything in one screen. So let's look at this one. So we have a peak here at 630, which is good. Uh, another peak at about 660. And then there should be some 670, which is down here. So whether I just wasn't over it. Uh, in the near infrared, we see 810 here, 830. 35 and then yeah you can see a bit of a peak here at 850 so just a clarification on this mito hacker have put out a video titled uh, measurements of mito light 4.0 and yeah they show how there is exactly six wavelengths in this panel uh, i know they're referring to the mito hacker panel in this one uh but it applies to the biohacker here as well so with my spectrometer reading we saw earlier there wasn't much 670 because i wasn't over an led chip that was putting out the 670 but as you can see in the mito light video if you actually move the spectrometer over one of these LEDs it is putting out 670 I've tried this myself and yes it is correct so uh, apologies for any confusion uh, not only with this video but also the Mito Hacker review video that I have done previously so just to clarify there are six wavelengths in the Biohacker panel now as for power output when we scroll down here we will see that there's actually two irradiance figures listed there is a solar meter figure which is 145 at six inches and I note here they say this is a method used by other brands, which is true because it's always higher and yeah, I mean, it obviously sells better. But then we have a spectrometer reading here, um, most accurate me measurement not used by the brands. They came out to be 82 milliwatts over centimeter squared at six inches. Now with my readings, I actually had an average figure of 66 milliwatts over centimeter squared, but the peak figure I got was 79 milliwatts. So yes, this is a lot lower than the solar meter readings that was on the website. However, it is pretty similar to the spectrometer reading. Now, of course, the company's probably listing their peak figure because why would you not? Uh, but the average across nine different areas was a lot lower. The total wattage figure I got was 112 watts. So now that we know all of this, how does it compare to competitive products? Well, if we head over to the Light Therapy Insider shopping tool, what we can do is we can sort it by wall panel. We can rank it by irradiance or sort it by ir irradiance. And then we can scroll down and we will see the biohacker is here at 66 milliwatts over centimeter squared, which puts it in 15th place. Uh, I've tested 
35 panels in here so yeah it's about mid-pack and it's actually a, a decent figure as well there's there's no big issues there when we look at it by power output you can see the biohacker sits at 14th place with 112 watts uh, so this is a lot less than the Biomax 900 for instance uh, the Huga block blue light panel but remember this only has 200 LEDs uh, the Biomax is 300 block blue light is also 300 and the Mito hacker on top there is a 400 LED panel. As for EMF, there was a slight detection in the magnetic field at 0.18 microteslas. It is pretty minor, but it's still higher than a lot of competing products. There is also Bluetooth in the panel that syncs with the app, but you can disable that. And the sound level was 47 decibels. Now, what about price? Well, you can purchase this for 1,357 US dollars. If you use discount code Alex, it'll bring the price down to 1,200 and $89. Now the cool thing is, there's also free shipping, not only for EU customers, but international customers. So that is a big plus. From a value point of view, we get a figure of $11.50. That's how much you're gonna to spend to get one watt of therapeutic red light at six inches. Now I always say anything under 10 is great. So $11 is, it's not great. It still places it rather well compared to other panels, but for those hoping for a bargain with this new fourth gen panel, you may be a little bit disappointed here. Now there's also a range of stands available with this panel. You can get a floor stand, a horizontal stand, or even a vertical stand. The prices range from about $200 up to $500. And as for warranty, there's a three year warranty on this panel with a 30 day returns period, and there's no restocking fee. Okay, so now for what I like and don't like. Well, first up, I really like how they have packed in a lot of light, a lot of wavelengths into this panel. They market it as six wavelengths, the 660 and 670 are so similar. I don't know if there actually is a chip difference in there, but still you are getting a very broad range of light. You're getting your 630s right through your 670s in the red, and you're also getting a great range in the near infrared spectrum, all the way from 810 up to 850. Speaking of 810, you're getting just as much energy in 810 nanometers as you are in 850, which is great. Dual chip LEDs typically mean a good coverage, a good blend of light. However, as we saw while I was taking those readings, it's not necessarily the case here, and that is because there are six different wavelengths. Still though, there weren't any obvious hotspots when I was doing my testing. The panel itself is really nice. It has a useful carry handle on the back. The touch screen on the side is really, really good. I, I love the touch screens. Uh, the Biomax panels have had it for years. It's good to see some other panels coming out now with it. It works just as you'd expect it to work. No issues there. It is a good height. However, it would be nicer if it was a little bit wider. I really do think the panel should be wider than 10 inches now. 12 inches is a, is a great sweet spot. Of course, you can go up to the bigger Mito Hacker panel, which is 16 inches across, which is pretty cool. The panel also has lots of stand and the VESA mounting options, which is great. You have the dimming and intensity control, which is also good. And of course, the app. Now the app is interesting. Mito Light don't include a remote, but you can of course use the app. However, when I downloaded the app, you literally have to create an account, which kind of annoys me. Why do I have to create an account and another password just to turn my panel on and off but anyway it was in there and with the app you can do everything that you would do on the control panel itself you can adjust the intensity the timing the wavelengths and you can even set up an alarm though i don't know how reliable that would be but it's a cool feature what else do i like i like the fact that there's free shipping it's got a really good manual especially for first time users no restocking fees always a plus plus. and of course these guys are based in europe there aren't that many european based red light therapy companies out there so if you are living in europe then yeah mito light is going to be well, it should be on your short list when it comes to options. Okay, so what do I not like about it? Well, you could say it's on the pricier side, even though with discount code Alex, it comes down to about $1,200, $1,300. For a panel that only has 200 LEDs, that is a little bit on the high side. And we saw that with the value calculation, $11.50 per watt. Now there's no issues with power here. Sure, it's not gonna be market leading, but it's not underpowered either. I suppose if you're really tight on a budget, you may want to look at some other options around that thousand dollar price point. However, the downsides here are, you're not gonna get the nice blend of light that you're getting with the Mito light panel. You might, you might only get your two or three wavelengths. You're not gonna get a nice control panel. You're not gonna get the wireless Bluetooth apps and all that cool stuff. And chances are the company's probably based in America. So you're gonna to have to pay extra to get it shipped to your door if you live in Europe. So even though I include the price, the value as a criticism, you are getting a lot of features for that price tag. 
Plus you got the free shipping as well. And the next talking point is the size. I don't wanna be super critical on this because I've often used nine inch wide panels and had great results. But now that there are so many options out there, I think it would be better if this panel was wider. However, only 204 LEDs, if you, if you go too wide out to 12 inches, you're gonna end up with quite a short stocky panel. Now this isn't a criticism of Mito Light. I'm just pointing out what I've seen over the years of testing red light therapy panels. Now on the flip side, you can get that wider panel, the bigger brother, the Mito Hacker. So that may be a better option. And you can check out my review of that if you want to. Or of course, you could simply get two of these, put them side by side, and then you will have a wider setup. My final criticism, and this is a bit of a nitpick, but when you turn it off, it takes a few seconds to completely turn off. We saw this with Juve panels a while back. Uh, you turn it on and it would take, I think it was 10 seconds to get up to full intensity. That was kind of neat because you didn't get an overwhelming hit of red light, but the same thing happened when you turned it off. And sometimes I found that a little bit frustrating because when I wanted it off, I wanted it off. So though it is a minor little criticism, it's something I wanted to point out. Oh, I guess also I need to touch on the EMF. If you are super sensitive to EMF, this panel was a little bit higher than some of its competitors. Not a big issue though. Okay, so overall, what do I think? Well, hey, it's great that we're getting more players in the red light therapy space, especially companies outside of the US. I also like that they're using so many wavelengths in here. I've gone to the days where it was just 660 and 850. We're getting all sorts now, and that is great as well because there is so much research showing that these wavelengths outside of the 660 and 850 are having a lot of benefit. Operation-wise, I mean, it's a really nice panel to use. You've got the touchscreen control system, or the app, you've got a nice manual, it's easy to set up, carry handle. There's really no issues. It's, it, it does everything well. However, if you are on a budget, then yeah, look at those other options, your Red Rush, your Hoogers, even your base like Platinum LED Bio Range or the Mito Red Light, the American company based products. Sure, you're not gonna get the nice touchscreen or the apps, but still, if it boils down to say a thousand dollar tops price tag, then you may want to consider them. And now I know I've mentioned the size a few times. If you do want to get a bigger one, then yeah, look at your block blue light megas. Look at your Biomax 900s. Look at the light path LED shorty, which is 15 inches wide. Or if you really like this panel, you just don't like the size, spend some more money and get the Mito Hacker 4.0. That is 16 inches wide with 400 LEDs. Anyway, lots of options. Leave a comment below. Otherwise, I'll put a link up here to all of my reviews. Go check that out. I've reviewed countless red light therapy panels. I'm sure there'll be something out there that fits your needs.